things that are new inside of uh, inside of Fire Monkey is we've got support for uh, audio and video. So let's bring up uh, this media player example. New in Fire Monkey 2, there's a media player component, T Media Player, and you give it a file name, and a media player control, which is where the video will play. We can place that and align it to the client area or not. You just run this example, and we can go and load a file. So let's go to um, Turtles in Barbados. And so this is some video I shot in April of us uh, snorkeling and feeding the turtles. And you can use this uh, track bar at the bottom to skip around. All right, let's look at the code underneath. So first thing we do is when we click the open button, we set the open dialog filter to be equal to the med media codec manager is the class and get the filter string. And so if you want to know all of the, if you want your filter set to all the different file types for audio and video, that FireMonkey supports, just call get filter string and it'll give you the concatenation of all the uh, of all the supported file types. Or you can put into your own open file dialog filter just the uh, extensions and names of the uh, media types that you want to open in your own application. So if we say open dialog filter is the codec manager's filters, then if we choose a file, then we'll uh, set the media player file name equal to the name that came from the open dialog. And then we'll test to see if it actually is a media file, because we want to make sure that that's actually a media file. And if it is a media file, then we can access all sorts of information in the media player. For example, we can get the video size, we can get the duration, we can get the volume, uh, and we can set uh, use that to set, for example, um, in this case, we're going to set the maximum value of the track bar equal to the duration of the video. So that, that track bar will track along as we play through the movie or play through the audio clip. We'll set the volume track. There's a little, uh, uh, let's see, vertical uh, track bar for the volume. And then we'll set that equal to the, uh, the volume of the original clip. And then we'll just say media, media player, start playing the video. On the toolbar, there's a, a speed button. We can click on a button and it just toggles between play and pause. So we just tell media player stop. Stop does not mean stop and rewind. It means stop at the current point and leave it there. So we can toggle that back and forth until it to stop and play and stop and play. It also, you can also get at the state of the media player. So see what its state is. And if its state is that it's playing, then, uh, then stop it. And if it's pause, then, uh, then play it. Down here, we've got a timer. And the timer is just uh, taking the current time and it's uh, setting the track bar value. So the track bar will move as the video plays move along. Now, if we change the track bar, notice I did that I dragged along, then we'll just set the current time to uh, the value that comes from the track bar. Remember, it's set from zero to the maximum or the duration of the video. And we can also ha use this other track bar that uh, changes the volume. You can move to a certain point, just set the current time to any specific point and then uh, start playing from there. This works on Windows. It also works on Macintosh. So let's, uh, let's run it uh, over here. And again, this media player works in C++ or in, uh, in Delphi. So here we go. We've got a video uh, somewhere here, probably that same uh, Turtles. Let's go and, uh, and find it. Here's the uh, Turtles. Macintosh loads the files, so there's the turtles. Notice we have a Macintosh look and feel now. There's those nice turtles. Now this is all done inside of the uh, the media unit. Here's the FMX media, and then uh, this defines the the top level, the device state, the buffer ready events, the media type, audio and video, and then inside of the same uh, subdirectory, there's also units for specifically. Uh, Windows and Macintosh. Uh, here's Media Win and Media Mac. So let's open up uh, this one and let's also open up the Macintosh version. So these are the implementations, a lot of implementation details. Here's the interfaces and then the uh, the rest of it. Down at the bottom in the uh, 
In the initialization section is where we register the media codec class using the codec manager for the ones that uh, FireMonkey knows about uh, by default. So AVI, WMV, MV4, M4V, MOV, and then for audio, WMA, MP3, and WAV. You can use the same, if you have some other file formats that you'd like to support, you can use this same code, the register media codec class in your own code and provide the uh, extension name. Uh, the, the media type, is it video or audio? And the same thing on Macintosh, if we scroll down, this is all the implementation code. So if you have professional through architect editions, you get all the source code to FireMonkey, VCL, and everything else. So down here on the Macintosh, we have uh, support built in for MOV, M4V, MP4, and AVI, and then WAVE and MP3 files.